All right, so the Splatoon 3 Direct just finished about an hour ago. Here is all the new info we have. I'm going to go pretty fast in this because I want to get all the new info out as fast as I can. You could watch the original Direct if you want as well. I would recommend it. It's a good presentation. And this is only going to be things that we didn't know. I'm not going to cover anything we already knew from the Twitter accounts or from observing. All right, let's start. Your hair is now confirmed to have physics when you move, which is pretty nice. Turf War is completely unchanged from the previous games, not a surprise there. Squid Surge and Squid Roll are going to work in this exact way I will show on screen right now. Alright, new maps. We have Hagglefish Market, which is a brand new map. Hammerhead Bridge returning from Splatoon 1, it is a different map though and Mahi Mahi returning from Splatoon 1, also a different map though. And returning from Splatoon 2, we have Inkblot Art Academy, Sturgeon Shipyard, Mako Mart, and Wahoo World. So the game will have 12 maps at launch. Very good, thank you Nintendo. Flounder Heights will also be added post-launch and one unknown stage as well. All weapons from previous games are returning at launch. And the new weapon class they revealed on this is the Splatana. It's a melee weapon with ink shooting forward when you slash it, and you can charge for a forward lunge attack, and if you're within melee range, it does very good damage. New specials, we have the Tactic Cooler which is an overall temporary stat buff for everyone on your team. There is four pods. And the Wave Breaker, which sends out a pulse that marks you and does damage to you if you hit it. And then we have the Reef Slider, which is a dolphin that you ride in on and then slam down, just kind of like a splashdown, I guess. And then, unfortunately, returning specials from Splatoon 2, we have Tena Missiles, ugh, Inkjet, Inkstorm, Ultra Stamp, and Booyah Bomb. Happy about all of those except missiles. Why did they add them back? Weapons are now bought with Sheldon licenses instead of gold, which you can obtain from leveling up and prestiging your weapons, which they didn't give us a lot of information on. You can unlock weapons that are not yet available to your level if you use multiple Sheldon licenses, which is pretty cool. The shops, we have Not Couture, with the owner being Gnarly Eddie and Nails. The clothing store, we have Mana Wardrobe, with the owner of Gel La Fleur. And shoe store is Crush Station, with the owner of Mr. Coco. New abilities, we have Intensify Action, which increases effectiveness of Squid Roll and Squid Surge, and that is all they showed for new abilities. Merch is now grown up, that's pretty cool. And ability chunks are unfortunately back, and it looks like there is no way to purchase them with gold, so this might be another grind. You can now save loadouts without amiibo, including sensitivity, gear, weapon, all that. And ranked is now called Anarchy Battles. I don't know how the system works, but from what I've gathered so far, to gain P, you need to win 5 matches, and to lose P, you need to lose 3 matches. I don't know if you instantly rank up or derank from winning 5 or losing 3, but it looks like the C through X system is returning. Rainmaker now has checkpoints in it, which is pretty cool, and unfortunately, rotations are back. But you can now play ranked with friends, which is a major improvement. There is also a brand new training room, which I would say looks pretty nice compared to the old one. And you can also view your online friends in the training room while you're warming up. Speaking of, you can warm up in the training room now. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Nintendo. It is just like Overwatch. You can queue for Turf War with your friends and guaranteed be on the same team as well. Again, great quality of life change. And big feature right here, they have a replay system. This is amazing for content creators or anyone who just wants to go back and look at a clip they hit or just look at a really good game or maybe see how bad their teammate was doing in X rank. The new customizable thing we have are lockers, not apartments, but we got lockers. You can buy stuff for these at this shop, Hotlantis, and you can unlock stuff I think from playing Turf War as well. 
The little cards you see to identify you are called splash tags. They have a banner, stickers, and a title. You can choose your victory emote from when you win with a catalog, which is released every real life season for two years after the game launches. So we still have the two year lifespan. Could have been longer, but it's all right. They have a new plaza game instead of squid beats. It is a turf war based card game called Table Turf Battle. And it looks like you have ranks in it too. So seems pretty cool. Salmon Run is back with two new boss salmonids we have seen. The Slammin Lid, which creates a force field and you have to knock it down to kill it. And the Big Shot, which fires off bombs like from a mortar, which is pretty cool. And King Salmonids, they appear sometimes after you complete Salmon Run. They are time limited and you have a cannon and they appear to have a lot of health. There is also something called Big Run on multiplayer maps. We didn't get any info on this, but hopefully it's like an endless mode type thing. All right, story mode. They did mention how it is good for newer players, unfortunately, meaning it probably won't be like Octo Expansion. However, I'm still open-minded. We actually didn't get that much info on it. The only other thing we got was a cutscene with Octavio and falling down a pit. Huh. The mailbox is back. So Cephalorock will be very happy with that. And it now also supports vertical drawings, which is pretty cool. Food and Drink is also back. And the Shoal is also back for LAN events or just playing with friends locally. Photo Mode is no longer locked behind an amiibo and it is way more advanced this time. Uh, Recon is available for any map at any time and it lasts an hour now. Great change. And we have Splatnet 3, which is extremely similar to Splatnet 2 from what I can see. There is one new thing about Krusty Sean, but it's pretty much the same thing. There is new Amiibo coming out, which is pretty cool. So all the Amiibo collectors get on that already. Pre-orders will probably open very soon. They said they're going to release new re weapons around the time they release new catalogs. So we may have to wait three months for weapons to be added. Hopefully not. That would suck. X Battle and League Battle are being added after launch. I'm assuming X Battle is going to be just X Rank from Splatoon 2, which makes me think that X Rank won't be in the game at launch. It'll probably go to S plus 50, just like Splatoon 2 did when it came out. Large scale paid DLC confirms, so we'll probably be getting something like Octo Expansion again. And the new idols are Fry, Shiver, and Big Man, with the group being called Deep Cut. We now have two ranked rotations at once, which is the redeeming quality of rotations. Thank you, Nintendo. I only have to wait two hours for the mode I want to play now if it's not in rotation. And the news is not played when you start the game up. You do not have to watch it. It is an optional watch. Thank you, Nintendo. Oh my god. Finally, after five years. Splatfests are going to be back. However, they are only Turf War again. But there is three teams this time around and they are also separated by two halves. The first half is just normal turf war like the old Splatfest and the second is three team turf war with the leading team having four players and starting in the middle and the other team is having two players and starting in normal spawns. The Splatfest world premiere is on the 27th from 12 p.m. EST to 12 a.m. on the next day. And there is a PAX West Invitational on September 5th to anyone attending. So if you're attending, play some early Splatoon 3. Alright, that is all the new info for the Direct. I will probably be making more videos on Splatoon 3 in the future. Have a great day. Goodbye.